I think we all kind of know what we need to work on, to be honest, although some of us will talk to each other here and there about it. Uh, I think some of the games versus T uh, OP were very unfortunate, and some of them could have went our way with just a bit more work. I know I definitely messed up and uh, let my team down with some of the retributions, but that definitely won't happen in Vegas. Hi everyone, as we're getting ready and pumped for Vegas, we have our very own MOBA Kane from BTK, Zane, joining us today. You just got out of game, right? How how are you guys doing? Oh, uh, the games are good. We're trying to practice and just get rid of as many mistakes as we can right before Vegas. I think it's about seven days out until we fly. How are you guys prepping? Are you guys doing anything different compared to what you're preparing for the qualifiers and, and the whole stages? Uh, well, scrimmages are a little bit hard to come by in North America because as NACT went on, more teams realized that they weren't really going to make it too far. So scrimmages kind of slowly stopped as the season went on. So m most of our practice is just ranking. MPLPH actually just started the finals or the playoffs, mm -hmm. excuse me. So that's um, a really good source of what how they're drafting and how their play style is that we could maybe incorporate into our own play. How many hours are you guys pra uh, pr practicing every day? Well, some some of them do still have to do schoolwork, and they are still in school. T is 15, Yato is 16, and Joy wow. is like 17. Yeah, so they're they're very young, so they have some some conflict in you know how much time they can actually spend on ML. But pretty much for all of their free time, they're practicing for Vegas. So you have uh, bots of rising talents, rising young talents at your at your hands. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. And I think you guys have been improving a lot since the beginning of the season. Um, a lot of uh, the teammates really shine towards the end. And moving forward, because there's um, looking back at the semifinals, there's still a few um, mistakes or a uh, few places that the team as a whole can work together. And um, can you run us through after the semifinals? What was the communications like? What do you guys? Um, talk about a few things that you're going to work on before the grand finals. I think we all kind of know what we need to work on, to be honest, although some of us will talk to each other here and there about it. Uh, I think some of the games versus T uh, OP were very unfortunate, and some of them could have went our way with just a bit more work. I know I definitely messed up and uh, let my team down with some of the retributions, but that definitely won't happen in Vegas. Uh, on a clip of your stream, you said you couldn't sleep after <laughs> that retry, but um, retry game is kind of 50-50. Um, although, although a lot of times as a jungler, you do have um, the spells and then you do have a lot of more utilities, but that fight alone, you were kind of one versus four. And not just that one retry, um, as well as the games against uh, Ackerman. I noticed that you guys were camped around the jungle uh, for turtles, for lords, but even in the beginning when it's like five versus four, when um, Zia's clearing, clearing bot lane or clearing different lane, sometimes you don't seem like you trust your team to engage and fight them off first before getting the, the lord. Is there like a little bit of a trust that needs to be building? No, I, I don't think, the, think so. I just think it's a lot safer to poke out the jungler, maybe get a kill. If you can get the turtle or lord for free, then just do it that way. So that way, like you said, a lot of those can be 50-50. If mm -hmm. you can make that 100%, then you should always be going for that 100%. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Although sometimes but, you do just have to risk it. Yeah, but it, it's also the team, right? You, you need to feel like your team is there to support you on that 50-50. It can't always be Zane versus the whole world. And are you guys trying to, is there something like you think that your team needs to be doing? Like when you're on the, on the Lord fight or on, on the turtle, is there something in your head that's, oh my God, I wish my team is right here. I wish somebody would like um, alt the I wish enemies. they would poke the jungler a little bit <laughs> mm -hmm. more because a lot of the time when I'm hesitant, I know that they have something like a Grok on their team. Like versus mm -hmm. Ackerman, they really enjoyed playing Grok. If I do try to rush the Lord, Toinks is going to go in, use Wild Charge on me, and then I'm never going to hit my Retribution on a lot of those objectives. So that's why I'm yeah, very hesitant sometimes. Yeah, I guess that's something that you guys can um, work towards. Because when they're playing against Zane, 
all they're thinking is let's let's say no that's not <laughs> let zane um get the lord let's uh put all our skills on zane so you are in that tight spot it's not always like uh whether or not you get the objective is not completely your fault so yeah i think i think what you said and you guys maybe you need to work a little bit on on just uh building that fight up but i think it's getting there right mm -hmm. the team has mm -hmm. improved like you said uh we were losing to Asians especially at first. I mean, we were losing yeah. to Asians when they had Hanabi and Alpha. Like that was. Well, a lot of teams were losing to <laughs> Hanabi and Alpha. <laughs> yeah. Um. We know you for a long time, right, Zane? Um. And I've uh, actually casted with you for one game in the previous seasons, and then back in the days, I think a lot of our viewers know th know this as well. But back in the days, um, BTK was the strongest team. It was kind of like outplay the old BTK. It was like outplay a beatable for a few seasons, not just one. So um, you kind of build that team up by yourself. And then from what I know, you guys were practicing back in the days um, every day consistently for a year or how long was it? Uh, before, I would say like around M2. That was under mm. really grinding a lot, even though North America wasn't invited that year. And then maybe a little bit before M3, things started to trail off, and then some of our members just didn't practice like we used to. But, I mean, yeah, we always practiced every single day. BTK. The, that BTK, what we saw on the, on the stage, how long did that team take you to form? Like, how long did the, the whole synergy build up? Would you say like a, a year or a few months? I would say it clicked pretty quick. It couldn't have been more than like a month or two months before the team was mm -hmm. basically unbeatable. Just a few months. And you know in your heart how what it takes to make a team that strong, right? And now, especially coming after M4, a lot of the teams that you're playing against actually have old BTK members or even... Um, almost, I think I would say every team had a member that was at one point on BTK. So, in in a sense, BTK was is the team that's built a lot of the players up in 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 the tournament form. And um, when you compare your team now with the old BTK, what do you think are some ways that you can regroup that synergy or or capture that? again in your new team uh, i think we're doing the best we can and just keep playing more and more and trying to fix as many problems as you can i mean that will always reap rewards you know what i mean just always practicing mm -hmm. as four or five members together every single day that'll always come out with good results in a month's time in two months three months you know what i mean mm -hmm. and moving to the grand finals if you guys do win are there going to be roster changes in BTK going there to would... MSD or going to, yeah. Because T is 15, there's no way he's leaving uh, the country. He actually doesn't even have his passport. He only has his ID. So he could travel oh. in He could travel in the U.S., but he can't travel to MSC. And I believe Yato couldn't travel either. So mm, those two the... mm -hmm. would, would be forced to change. And do you have anyone in mind? Is there... Uh subs in btk that i mean i have i have xp in mind mm -hmm. for mage i would have to think a little bit well I, I i know that if you guys move to msc and isf you will definitely come up with the best possible team and um just going back to a little bit on yourself saying um we know that you are the god on Marksman's and on a lot of jungles. But we also see in the comments sometimes people are like, Zane don't play a lot of assassins. What do you feel about playing assassins? What is it about assassins that made you hesitant in playing? Because they're not the strongest in the meta right now. It's, you believe I've, that? I've, certainly, yeah. If I look at the PH <laughs> playoffs, uh, it's way more tanks than assassins. You could say there's maybe two out of 12 games that have assassins, but I mean, obviously, it's a heavy majority. 
to mm -hmm. Akai, Lancelot, Fredrin is still being picked up almost every single game. I mean, I, I like to play what wins, you know? If, if Assassins were winning, M2, M3, M4 even, it wasn't really based on um Assassins. It was all just tanks, especially M3 and M4. Tank builds mm -hmm. have just been rising. As soon Tank as builds, they... but le mobile lands? <laughs> hmm? But mobile lands? Lands a lot. We saw that uh, a lot. I enjoy him, finals. yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to get better on him as well ever since uh, I played it versus them. Are you practicing other assassins? Mostly just Lancelot. Because uh, even if I do try and play assassins, let's say versus mm -hmm. outplay, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to farm my jungle. They're just going to focus on invading. That's true. So it's not really, it's not really practical for me to be able yeah. to do that. And it also depends a lot on your teammates, right? And even, I think, for the enemies playing assassins, if your team can, um, can play into it or play against it, find heroes that counter them, it will be a lot easier for you as on your comfort jungles to play against um, like Fanny or Ling or those kind of assassins, right? So, yeah, I, I think what we uh, gathered is work on yourselves first with um, the just a little bit more synergy and, and communication maybe on the team fights, but overall, massive improvements the whole season. And Zane is always God. Um, I believe that you will get your retries. You are the retry God. And we look forward to see you for the grand finals. And is there anything else you want to share with your um, fans or you want to tell your fans in this moment? Uh, thank you for the support. And I hope you guys enjoy Vegas. We'll put on a show for you guys. Absolutely. And we'll see Zane in Vegas.